How we doing everybody? Master David Gall again with you, Shaolin Ying Wing Chun Academy here in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, this is the third video in our basic drills series. This is going to go over the drill we call Tan Gum Spade. Uh, if you don't understand the nomenclature, then I, I'll get into it, so hopefully you'll understand it by the end of the video. So, this drill, this is going to formulate in the same manner all the other drills did. We're going to work from the feet up, so we're going to get in our natural stance, and we're going to sink into our stance, into our hips, cave our chest in, both feet pointed on the same line, pointed the same direction. So this is our natural stance that we're going to use. We're going to start right hand out because most people are right handed naturally. So this drill, there's a couple of ways to do this. You can do it isolating it, which is what we're going to do now, or you can link it into the other drills that you've seen on the previous two videos, assuming you've watched the two previous videos. If you haven't, get back out of this, go watch those two, then come back. So what we're going to do from this drill Tan Sao in English is called dispersing hand. So this is Tan Sao. All right. So some systems will do it with a straight wrist where the fingers are up. We open the wrist out and we do what's called draping. There's a couple of reasons for this. First of all, I, I'm allowing, I'm putting a cap on, so to speak, on his arm where he can't elevate himself. And the other reason is it gives me more feel. Okay. And I'll show you how that works when I bring my partner Daniel in here in a minute. But, so this is how we do Tan Sao, all right? Gum Sao is what's called a pinning hand. Most of the time you see Gum Sao done in a downward fashion, but the pinning hand works if you can pin something. For example, if I'm pinning someone against the wall, if I'm pinning someone's hand to their chest, uh, things like that, you can use Gum Sao that way. The way we're gonna use it today is in a downward fashion. So you're gonna see an underhand Tan Sao, which is coming from underneath, Tan Sao, Gum Sao, which is going to push straight down, and then we're going to see a spade hand. So the spade hand is coming out onto the jawline. So Tan Sao, Gum Sao, spade hand, and you see I'm in left. Now I'm doing right, Tan, Gum, spade. So now you understand why we call it Tan, Gum, spade. So make sure your feet are correct, your structure's correct, and your hands are correct, we're going to show you how to work this drill. We're going to bring Dan my assistant Daniel back in here. If you have seen the two, pre the two prior videos you've met before, how you doing? You also know we always salute each other once we begin the partner training. Make sure we know we're not trying to hurt each other. So, we're going to start in right guard. From this position, just this drill alone is going to start here. My Wu Sao should already be lower than my Mon Sao. If it's not, fix it. So, the lower hand is coming underneath. And I'm doing an inside line Tan Sao, and I'm opening him up. The Gum Sao hits the upper forearm to get his arm out of the way, and the spade hand comes off to his right side. Now, what most people feel is right is a Pock Sao right here. If he pocks me here, the problem is he has both his hands on the same line on the same side of his body. Double hand traps are coming. Okay, So what we teach to do, at least in the first part of this, later on we'll teach you some counter offense. But in the first part of this is he's going to do a feeding hand. If you don't know what a feeding hand is, back out of this video, go back to the first one, you'll see what a feeding hand is. All right, So, ton, gum, I do a spade hand, he does a feeding hand straight down the middle, and then we settle. Now we're on left side, and again, Tan, inside line, gum, spade, he gives me a feeding hand, and we're down the middle, okay? So that's one way to isolate this drill. The other way to do this drill is to work it within full cycle pox style drill, which is what you saw in the first video. We're going to get into that here in just a little bit, but I want to show you the dynamics of this first. This doesn't have to just be on the inside line. This can be outside line as well. I can take my mon sal and open up tan, gum, spade. He gives me pock. Tan, gum, spade. He gives me pock. Now, for those of you out there that are musically inclined, if you think about a waltz, a 3-4 beat, that's what you're looking for here. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
whether I'm inside line or outside line. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. If I go outside, okay? So you can see how that works in the, in the waltz beat, so to speak. Your full cycle pox out drill is gonna be basically a four, four time or a cut time. Your bong sao lop da drill is similar to that. This is the one that's off beat. So when you put this into those other two drills and you start linking them, it has a tendency to throw somebody's timing off, which is good if you're if that's what you're looking for. So that's this is gonna be thank you, I appreciate it. That's gonna be probably probably the shortest video of the series. There's not a whole lot to uh, to explain there other than make sure your structure's good, you're nice and even on your feet and make sure that your angles are correct. My tonsil, I want it to be a 45 degree angle away from my body. Gum sow is straight down. Spade hand is 90 degrees, okay? So just make sure that your angles are correct, your stance and structure are correct, and you're coming off the center line and everything will be great. Thank you for watching again. I appreciate it. See you next time.